de català que afortunadament també ha pogut vindre a visitar. Who fortunately is with us right from Boston where he works. He is conversant with this with this issue visiting scientists at Digital Learning Laboratory MIT Brian Sobirana. Hostia, mira que ve sa Brian tu. Mara. No sé. Perfecte. Bueno, eh, us he posat aquí les meves dades. These are my data. Because of the data protection law communications complex, I can get your data, but you can get mine. I wrote a book called, called Learning Programming. Legal complexities are very difficult, but if you email me or WhatsApp me or call me, I can send you all my data from me. My topic today is what we are up to at MIT as to what we do on our bench. Four strategies and how it influences Catalan schools. Two cases I like to quote to transfer to the Catalan case. For you to size what we deal with, there are many things. It is a full list of issues to tackle. There are papers being published, white papers. For you to be familiar with our bench and what we do there. Uh, let me just uh, tell you how it influences the Catalan school. First, papers by Professor Forti about uh, dyslexia. Now we do research a lot into how we can learn to fight it. They discovered that with a diffuse e blur image, children had to take pains and learn better. With blur goggles, children learned more. With these tests, they realized that with letters separated, there were children who had a magnificent improvement, dramatic improvement. It gave ghost flesh dyslexic. With separated images, it is OK for some dyslexic children, at least. Also, the test, the cortex test, telling that the size of the cortex matches academic success. He deepened into a big problem, that of uh, unprivileged communities, the poorest. They realized the poorest kids had a cortex and that grew if they went to kindergarten and the other way around. And this wasn't the case with the most privileged. These are consequences that uh, apply to our case. There are many evidences of that. So next, let me. My goal with, Ms. with this speech is dealing with the research and consequences for Catalan schools. So first, the second, let me deal with the topics that apparently change not. There is no ICT making it change. Next, ICTs that may imply added value. I looked forward to doing this. I wrote it on paper. In my flight, I told Jeff, who is the head of audiovisual services, and I told him that I wanted to make my presentation with paper and my mobile device. No, no way. We had allocated. They needed so many licenses. Imagine the MWC, something you can do at home, can be replicated here. This is a big lesson from us to learn because there is so much cabling up. Let me tell you about it. For instance, dyslexia may imply a big change. It's up to you to decide. If you administrators don't want it, we can't teach on the mobile. I can tell you that uh, now students can take notes on the mobile, but it doesn't happen because administrators oppose that yet. This is the noise of waves forecast by waves, compression waves, noise. 
1 billion euros invested in that 100 years after Einstein started with it, 50 years after MIT dealing with it, in order to evidence it. These are the compression waves charted. <coughs> You can tell how consequential it is for us in Catalonia. This effort, this investment now goes to the other side of the table from the bench translated to administrators. There are many similar pieces of research over there being conducted that may apply to Catalonia. Let me deal with Catalan leadership. I am the offspring of Catalan schools. Maria Teresa Codina, Pera Bardardé, Ramon Fusté, Para Benitez, Mosén Garriga. I come from this background of teachers, and I glory myself and I glory in being Catalan. Let me tell you why I think this is an opportunity for you, you administrators, because uh, I know for sure that the world goes around because there is someone investing in it. Researchers uh, can uh, work in the bench, but uh, it is uh, for nothing if there is not an administrator investing in it. I lead my team, and this team will use this technology, put it to use. There is a Catalan clear leadership, substantial leadership. Let me tell you about the added value, current added value. Catalan leadership is here to stay. It is ambiguous, though. It works uh, two ways. It is a pun. We are Catalan leaders in these arenas. First, as a community, we Catalans are important. Those of you here, you can make decisions. There are ICTs for that. If you're Horizon 2020, you can do many things together. But research tells me that you must do it in a cluster, teamwork. There are cases with an Apple or Google. Here, research tells me that there will be no school that will be the best ones. But you all must be in the same world boat. A leadership must be shared. This does fit into our culture. Let me point out for its relevance that you should be aware that we are the uh, world forefront in many arenas. How come our country is the second where Wikipedia was built up? The same day the German Wikipedia was made, and for many years we were the most important Wikipedia version after the English one. The, we host the MWC, edX, uh, an initiative. The place where edX is most important, the second one is edX. English, where it's most spoken, according to statistics, uh, from India, is uh, Catalonia as well. Besides, I think no one said that. We are the oldest single culture country in the world. This uh, is consequential, dramatically consequential. We are integrating democratic community pains are taken for a purpose to use these ICTs. They must be used everywhere in Catalan schools. This is a big opportunity for us to tap into. Let me switch to current added value. That hasn't changed meanwhile. And I'll carry on talking about opportunities. I think that uh, there is something that doesn't change, how to be Catalan. It is taught at the classroom. There is no appeal for you to take and become Catalan. You either go to a Catalan school, or it's difficult for you to be a Catalan kid. You, with time, you may make it. One more issue to point out is teacher, faculty. We can't. Uh, find a locum for teachers. Vinyl has been replaced by MP3. It is OK. The teacher can't be replaced. Maybe his uh, 
uh, giant should be replaced, but teachers are here to stay, especially at classrooms. At college, it's uh, another scenario, but in classrooms, if ever, te classroom teachers, school teachers will start working as college teachers, helping kids go to the university and the uh, frontier will blur for colleges and against the schools. Next, books and paper. Studying, <coughs> picking up the hard copies, the books, as it was my case. Is there anything on top of it I've asked? I want to see it because I recall my math professor, Mr. Delofeu, Mr. Gibert, spending time with them and realizing how much important knowledge was for them. Uh, there are classes that uh, do weigh on you. And knowledge is important, as you realize. It is there to stay. It is a truth. The same applies to books. I've met many people. David Pritchard, he led five Nobel Prizes. And uh, he had customized uh, tutoring to help the students learn physics. You ask him, is there anything on top of that book to find out whether energy equals mc square is better? He says, no. If your student's motivated, there is nothing on top of it. Actually, we do have a piece of news for the lazy ones, for the sluggards, cheaters, who are the Catalan virus. How come we have so many children who drop school? So many children that may be reading, learning, enjoying, Dedicated teachers say, no, I quit schools. I drop, I quit. For that, we have technology that may help pick up these lazy ones, which for me is the big virus in Barcelona. People without motivation that want to, to do nothing at all. <coughs> this is a quotation telling that the issue with edu education currently, the biggest issue is with how we in the community, show, we, our community, show our value. There is no good way to measure our value. This becomes, this is food for paper surveys as published by surveys for by Gates Foundation telling that that offline is better. Why? Because uh, having videos, etc. If you want to increase the piece uh, averages, lock in the student in a classroom with a lollipop for him to study and the averages of PISA will go up. Is it what we want? However, this is a big problem. The measure of value of education is not fixed yet. Besides, the only concluding survey for colleges, which is my topic, tells that the value can only be found if you go to an American top 10 parade and you're accepted not for what you learned. I mean, the signaling of telling you went to MIT or Harvard is where value is, not what you are told in the classroom. This is a challenge for us to face, a big one, especially when we are checking the value of numbers for that. This is a snapshot of Socrates, the classroom teaching, usual classroom teaching from the Greeks. This hasn't changed. My daughter goes to a school in Lexington, and it's fascinating what she's up to there. She uses ICTs in the classroom that haven't come yet here, scaffolding, as they said, helping. Instead of uh, forcing you to make a problem, I give you 25 fixed problems, and let's average the the results you carry on learning, and next uh, we dismantle the scaffolding around you. She says, I astonish at how right I'm at writing English because that is a method to help the student 
improve on mathematics, linguistics, and spelling languages. A lot can be done in the classroom like this. There are many things uh, that, uh, that must be handwritten. Of course, uh, the technology should be in the classroom, but should be properly used. For the kid to memorize, let make him write it. Even instructions to start a computer. There are many tests. I have no time to dwell on them specifically, but tell us that in the classroom, so where we learn. We learn most. Al, al, al tema de la... The relevance of being focused, the intent behind it. There are some ongoing experiments with babies. What does a baby want to learn at birth? Babies, newborns, during their first lives, during their first hours of life, if they see a frisbee with eyes on it, they think it is a person. They are motivated since birth to learn faces. And next, this motivation develops and improves. And we research into it now. And we learn from it. Let me now discuss the value, other value, AV. What we can do to increase the other value by using ICTs. Which ICTs do we have in stock in order to help kids learn? What's happened at MIT in 2013? We had a task force convoked on the future of education, dealing with uh, the outlook of education as seen by MIT. This started in 2000. I recall I taught a course in 2000, free of charge. We started to film tapes, videos. In 2000, 2012, we created edX. And in 2013, we made a task force dealing with what we do next for education. The first conclusion we drew is that we had to increase the might, the strength of the effort to improve education. It uh, paid. There were suggestions and research conclusions that accounted for it becoming a priority. This uh, became the Office of Digital Learning. And uh, one month ago, there were two announcements, the creation of a vice presidency for learning. Professor Sanjay Sarma, who should be here instead of me, so I'm replacing him because he couldn't show up. He couldn't make it to Barcelona. Second, they've announced a very critical research agenda for which we are raising funds to translate this effort piled up over these years into specific things. The initiative swooping up in 2013 included I-12. I mean, the MIT must go to school rooms. If we teach maths, we must go down to a school level and help in school kids transitioning to MIT. And many other similar initiatives have been conducted meanwhile. Now let me switch to Agendas being conducted by MIT now that may apply to you. That way on Catalan schools. EDEX. One more initiative. It is uh, free of charge content. Many local children in Catalonia and everywhere who have a problem and uh, log in for this. This is the initiative previously quoted by me. Now let me deal with edX. 
what it implies. Let me dwell on it. It is a big opportunity, a big bet by MIT. That said, okay, this is a big challenge for us to face. Let's uh, take it seriously, what we can't do by uh, ourselves. Professor Sarma and Israel Reform are one more professor who is the vice president of uh, the MIT for Finances, decided to go to Harvard, the competitor, to, do, to work together with Harvard because they realized that this initiative should be shared. And they incorporated a nonprofit organization called edX. They invested $70 million, 35 each one of them, and they said, now we won't give away everything we have to the world. And this is one of the requisites. And uh, there are two innovations for me to point out that are critical that have been introduced by edX I'd like to share with you now. First, as they say, mind wandering. I don't know how to make it into Catalan, but uh, all grown-ups and children alike when thinking, when we try to understand a teacher, we may make an effort, but five minutes later, the brain turns around and goes back to the original position. And uh, this is very complex to size, to approach. So, here, edX said, no, edX content is broken down into small pieces. On the screen, these are research. Uh, this is research conducted that to evidence it. In edX, they've got thousands of courses free of charge, locked in. Let me sample them for you. It's easy to check what the students are up to. You are in a classroom. You don't know who gets out of tune. But when you are online, you see when people click stop. And these are data for that. Doesn't matter how long the video is. Seven minutes later, everyone stops that. It is an innovation introduced for us to break it down into pieces. And uh, it is simple to do, and it is uh, consequential. It is dramatic. One more thing is forgetting. There is much research into what we do in order to transfer information to the long-term record we are interested in. We want kids scoring high at PISA, but what happens if they later forget it? That's not what I like to have. There are many research pieces going about it, and uh, they've realized that the second most critical edX innovation is based on these uh, research conclusions they don't show on the screen, though this is an issue with the standards. Essentially, they studied, they made tests telling that if you test a student, if you ask uh, something, there is magic about it. The magic is that he remembers more. I mean, when asking, A linguistic feature switched on that helps you improve. For instance, there is an MIT teacher who now studies birds because they've found out recently that birds who sing, that sing, have a brain, a brain region similar to ours, and those that haven't are not so much similar to us. So understanding the question answering implies that by magic, some neurons get switched on and go uh, for that purpose. And the, there are apes with electrodes on them, and they are put to test. They scan their brains to check exactly which mechanisms are there, what happens. And uh, maybe one of these findings may lead to a scientist fixing the issue with 
sustainability. And this may be more, may be more consequential than the 1 billion euros we have spent into finding Einstein's waves. This is a critical definition that does weigh on Catalan schools at home. You may set up a system to force ch school children. That's why, that's why I was talking about the lazy ones, these laggards. This uh, must be tested, but our, there is a tool for the lazy ones. We can ask in order to al alert the child. So we get the magic about asking. And second, if uh, he can't, we may spot maybe that the kid's dyslexic and has switched, switched off because he doesn't understand that. So let's stop. Let's uh, separate letters in spelling. It is uh, a bit more complex than it seems. edX introduces two innovations which I think are critical. Together with much research related to the fact that with better go from subject to subject. Now we understand how much time goes into each one for weekly planning of subjects, as we said. What matters is studying every day. It is said by all administrators and principals. Now, according to research, this is accounted for. Now we say how much time we need for that every day. And uh, if we worry and you Catalans make up a system to analyze that especially, we may find out how much time is implied by studying every day at home. According to re there is a specific research and now I'm going about it. This is switching from one subject to the next. There are trials in American football telling that they found a coach that won in four teams, Super Bowl, and his secret was that most coaches practice one thing good, it makes sense. Let's uh, practice it. And when it is OK, we'll switch to w one more. And he realized that uh, this was fruitful short term, but long term, when you play in the field, in the real world, you don't repeat the same play 10 times. But uh, you must change from this to that constantly all the time. It is a retrieval, as they say. His success was that when practicing, rehearsing, they retrieved, they changed. It was costlier. And apparently, what uh, is costly makes you learn. That's the issue with the lazy ones. If it is not costly for you, you don't learn. There are similar trials in medicine, in healthcare. A very simple one is telling, I'm a kid and uh, I pushed away a hoop three meters away. And uh, another kid is told to make it go round for two, three meters according to this random scheduling. I tell you now two, now three, now four. Now let's uh, give you a test now, which is three meters. This is the track taken by the hoop. There was a big gap between those who had never done it and those uh, who went to three uh, meters. These were the winners. Why? Because we should change the same apply to healthcare medicine with trials uh, telling how to introduce a catheter properly. Some others are told, do several things together. Uh, practice here, there, over there. If you practice in that spot, it is not that you are best at it if you've done several things. Those who practiced one thing, 47% of doctors couldn't do it. These are trials that are think are appealing. This is the impact of ethics. My point of view about it is that actually there are many countries, many ways to learn, country by country. Actually, millions sign in for the first quarter, so 100,000 students. But it doesn't make school become better. My construction on it and yours should be that 
We are at a time when people expect ITCs to be used, to be put to better use. People are ready for that, are ready for ICTs to be pervasive everywhere in the classrooms in a better way. These are on the screen data from our neighboring country, as Francesc said. Let's pick up Catalonia, Barcelona town. I think that per capita, let's have maths per capita. We are above standard, and, but Canada, we're the second country in the world in the ranking, taking into account of the Spanish uh, statistics that are always below us. Only Barcelona, after and close to the USA, we are the place where people are keener to learn. That's why Wikipedia is Catalan. That's why edX came to Barcelona. I think that uh, this is a big opportunity for us. Let me now switch to this. Three more things I'd like to share with you in order to, to top off. Three more initiatives. This is the most important subject ever taught. A to four is quantic physics at MIT. You may get a PhD at Rockefeller with very complex books. It is one of the most difficult uh, subjects uh, to learn. This subject, I have a story about it for you. We are in the price setting committee. I think we should uh, charge a lot for this subject in the price uh, setting committee. I met Said on it, the physician running it, and told me, you know, this uh, subject uh, free of charge in the open course uh, website for the last seven years. So anyone can pick up the videos, download it for his private use. But the critical innovation I'd like to dwell on for you related to this subject is that at MIT, for the last two weeks, it is recent, they've decided, listen, if you are an MIT student and you're here, this is free to show up in the classroom. MIT has not still decided, because we value credits, we, I oppose giving credits if you don't go to the classroom, because uh, you must go there physically. You must see the blackboard and the piece of chalk. I can't tell you why, but I can't evidence, you can't evidence the contrary. So this is the way it is. You go to the classroom, and the teacher does flips classroom. You go to the classroom to um, fix problems with the teacher. These are data telling how happy students are together with faculty. Students do the subject at their pace with separated letters, at their spaces. If you are blind, you are uh, orally helped. If you are uh, deaf, you are also supported for disabled learning. MicroMasters, one more initiative, two minutes to go. This implies that MIT realized that it is shocking. If there is some, someone curious about it, and uh, if there is someone ready to learn in a group of people, in a team, let's uh, issue a group-based digital initiative. It is an, a test. I attended a faculty meeting that approved of launching this. That was very complex to do. And uh, we said, let's pick up the, f the best uh, program in the world, and let's give away half of it. We can't give credit. At least let's, let's give a, a way half of it. This is democratizing admission agenda. The good ones will only will get credit and will only pay for the second quarter. It's critical for Catalan schools. Now you, for the first time ever, have first uh, 
grade free of charge mathematics subjects as it applies with informatics online from Harvard, you could the same you could apply the same to this, to these courses. You could say Catalan students who want to go to America uh, will try to help them take the first uh, course, college course. Let's help those who want to study. Let's uh, not help the lazy ones. But but if there is someone who is promising, let's make a program for him over summer and let's replicate the American case in Catalonia. Four courses given away, and this uh, applies to Boeing as well. This is a global entrepreneurship community made with it about it on the screen. This is one more initiative, which uh, I think is consequential. Let me top off with the biology course. That provided for faculty members. It's being replicated in Florida at uh, 1,000 schools, taking an introduction course into this, into this in a closed uh, in a closed loop. It uh, makes uh, for a good teacher training. There are also educational packages uh, for administrators training that you may tap to. Some courses of this can be taught in the classroom for the first time ever. You can get the the best content in the world. If you want, you can factor in in your classrooms. With this, I just like to tell you, and I'm closing. Back to slide one first. Thank you. I hope you got a good cut of it. Thank you.